Well, of course. She's you doing her driving, and she doesn't see good up at night. Well, I, she won't come. I know I can't. Oh, hey, no. Because I drove twice. <laughs> I went to old Judy and told her, you know, that Ruby was coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had made a comment she'd like to go to Arthur. And Arthur. So he called back. Then. Well, Judy, and then he called uh, back. Well, no, this said, happened in Ruby. You bring that wheelchair and you come on. He said, we're going to go. So I took my wheelchair. When you well, that took me out. Takes me out in the middle of the road and leaves me set in the middle of the road. That's when you're going to see all the honor. to sit on around the wiener rose tonight and maybe even an old fashioned hay right <laughs> Well, I got it. Ruby and Flossie and I both, you don't know that hay ride. You're not going to stay so you don't have to worry that. Now, I ain't got that figured out. We can, Judy can drive you and I'll drive our car and we'll go to our house and you can go home tomorrow. They want to stand here tonight, but we can't because we got to meet. Go ahead and bond and train. Yeah, there's a bedroom here. Did you get your Ruby Oh, you're a grown woman. Oh, just ask me, girl. Oh, I said, I said, I said, go get some water. <laughs> What's she got? She brought those from Ruby. Let them dry. No, they're because of this thing. I couldn't start. I just let them dry. These are the, these are the, these are the house. These are the cayenne. Nobody was trying to fly. I don't know what those are. I don't know. Is it going to put it on all of them or not? Well, let me see here. We got two, four, six, eight, nine without. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen without. Thorny, let me see this pork chop. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, the telephone can't be Frank's earned his dinner here, so he's he's all set. This this is Frank. Yeah, this is Frank. This is Carol. This is Wayne. Oh, Wayne. I'm sorry. Wayne. Wayne. You, know you know Kenny. Wayne. You know Kenny. Right there. Remember? This Kenny. Oh, I'm Everett. He's nine years old. Remember? I'm Everett's boy. Everett's oh. boy. You're little Kenny. <laughs> Are you Kenny? Well, what you what you? What? <laughs> yeah, I'll get a picture of that pork chop that your dad's got there on his plate. <laughs> that's a, that's a Zoom in on that one. Zoom it in. <laughs> well, that is a big one. Tell us a little bit about uh, what Charlie did for a living. 
Well, when we lived down around San Elmo, uh, he worked on the farm and done a little bit of other odd jobs along with it to support his 12 kids. And uh, he uh, worked up around Argentina where we happen to live now when he was a young boy. Him and Ed Smith used to, or uh, Lynn's dad, Earl, Earl, used to go up there and chuck corn in the fall of the year. And he always said that if he ever got enough money, he was going to move up there. And he was lucky enough in later years, and we moved up there, and and there was Everett, and Eileen, and Wayne, and Con, and Ralph, and Gib, and myself, and Bud, and Benjamin. Well, Benjamin was before Bud, and then Bud, and then uh, Keith, and then Margaret, and then Frank. Takes a long time to think of all that. That's a lot <laughs> of them. <laughs> That's a lot of them. And I don't know what else. Like, uh, when, when did uh, when did Charlie die? What year? Uh, he died in June of '46. Uh, his no, it'd be his second oldest grandson was born two days before <laughs> he had passed away. And there we've lost, well, we lost the two, Keith and Benjamin, when they were both young. And uh, then we had the misfortune of losing Bud, or Gib, uh, and then later on we lost Bud, and then we lost uh, Sister Eileen. But other than that, the rest of us are still going. And I think what I'll do, I'll turn it over. Con finish up some of the rest of it. <laughs> and I don't know, let Wayne or Everett or some of them finish up. Well, then, if you're still a going, <laughs> all right, I was lucky enough to marry a lady by the name of Judy Cross. We have, well, uh, I could jump ahead of my story. I was married once and had a daughter hey, named Leslie. She lives at Christopher. And I remarried and married Judy. We have a son and a daughter for them. And our son's here today, so you'll have to go get somebody else. Now I've run out of anything to say. Okay. <laughs> My name's